Welcome. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hey, you've got Pamela Clark. Kerry Clark here. And my husband, Kerry Clark. So yeah. welcome to another episode yeah. of When Ordinary is No Ordinary Longer Enough. enough. Mm -hmm. We sure hope you guys have been enjoying those podcasts that we've been sharing with you. Just some of our, our thoughts and processes that we go through and, um, as we navigate this thing called life. Yep. Um, we're back for another um, podcast regarding life growth area number three our spirituality yes so this time Carrie, we're going to share with our, our friends about a blank page um, I know that kind of sounds weird so I'm gonna let Carrie tell you a little bit about what we're talking about as it relates to a blank page so Pamela to be honest with you the <coughs> blank page uh, concept that we've written about is one of my favorite to talk about uh, because it's, it's, it's such a critical one when we're learning to go to the next level Sometimes it takes putting everything that you have behind you so that you can go forward. Okay. See, sometimes we'll hold on to some information, some knowledge, some wisdom, some any teachings, just stuff we've learned, stuff my grandmother may have said that wasn't good, or my mom, or my friend, or someone like that, and we hold too tightly to it, and sometimes we just need to let it go and start afresh. You know, I'm yeah. reminded of, and, and you'll have to help me with them, I'm reminded of a... Um, this wonderful quote, um, for lack of a better way, it talks about how the things that you've done that's you know not right yeah. are as far from the east as it is from, from the west, west. Yeah. right? Yeah. So that's that's just what came to mind for me because you're right. I mean, we have to start everything with a with a blank page. It's kind of how God yeah. looks at us, right? Yeah. So those you know sometimes people let their past or their yeah. baggage or yes. or things that they've learned so, so, oh. you know they hang on to it rather than letting it go and, and starting afresh with a blank page. Blank page. Yeah. That's a good point you made. In the faith world, we call it baggage. Okay, you know, okay. You know, or your chains or, or, or strongholds or things that weigh you down. Yeah. And what you have to do is let that go. I remember once uh, I was uh, having some issues in my life years ago, and I decided to even get rid of my Bible and start just new. Let me give you a new one. Nothing written in it. So. <laughs> of course it's extreme, right? We teach about being uncommon, going yeah. to the next level. So I started with a new Bible because I wanted to internalize it just for me. I didn't yeah. want anyone else's notes. I wanted to read it and get out of it only what was in there for me. Well, and, and you know, I think one of the, th the key things to remember here is that, um, you know, when you start with that blank page, that doesn't mean you let go of the, the, the good stuff necessarily, right? Because... There was some, you picked up some good habits, yeah. right, along the way. I just think you have to start with a, a, a blank page yeah. to, to just start the process again yes. where you need to. Absolutely, right? absolutely. You, you know, life is, is compounding, so it yeah. builds. So you can't get rid of all the things that's good that you want to build sure. upon, but you definitely want to assess everything by clearing the page and saying, is this really good for me? I did it this way. Is this really the yeah. way I want to go? If it's not scratched, let's do it a different way. And that's okay. Yeah. Yes, that's, right. that's, that's okay. what we want to be. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that, right, yeah. over the next couple of minutes. So if you'll hang in there with us, we're going to share some things. Um, Kira's going to share a little bit more detail about our thoughts mm -hmm. around um, starting with that blank page. And then we're going to catch you back, right, when that's done. And we'll close it out after that, okay? So we'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, let's begin. This must be one of my most favorite topics to talk about. Let me just call it a blank page. And in other words, we want to teach you on how to start by creating a blank page. I journal quite often, and one of the things that can be the most intimidating things that happens to me is turning to a brand new page. An empty page can be scary, can be intimidating because there's nothing on it. Where do I start? Where do I begin? What do I write? What do I place here? When you sit down and open up to a blank page, no matter what you're creating, it's very intimidating because there's nothing there already. There's no directions. See, normal people need some directions to follow that others have given them. Ordinary people need an outline that's already drawn out to them. They don't want to carve the way. It's kind of like following a path. Most normal people want to go down a path that's already been cleared, already been cut. 
There's no uh, guesswork involved into determining which way you should go. An uncommon person, unfortunately, has to be willing to go down a path no one has ever gone down. They have to be what we call a trailblazer, someone who can clear the path that's never been cleared before. That's what that blank page represents. So let me just get started with this quote here. In order to eliminate falling prey to incomplete and a resultless teaching, you must be willing to do something most won't. If you want to have a life that doesn't fall prey to some incomplete teaching and some resultless teachings, you must be willing to do what most don't. You must be willing to start with a blank page. And what that statement simply says is you've been taught a lot in life. Your family, your mother, your father, your grandparents, your grade school teachers, they teach you things. And most of what they teach you, if not all, I, mean, I should just say all of what they teach you so that it doesn't uh, let you off the hook, is what ordinary people have been taught. They want to talk, teach you how to walk in a, in a line just like Dave walked. They want to prepare you for situations that they've endured or encountered and how they (laughs) got through them. They won't give you a lesson on how to be uncommon because they want you to fall prey to being just like them. That's what ordinary people do. But when you're willing to just clear the page, I remember I went through some very challenging times, the roughest waters I'd ever gone through. And the one thing that I decided to do, prompted by the faith that I have, is to clear all the pages that I've ever seen written. I purchased a new Bible because I didn't want the old comments in the old Bible. So I started reading the Bible with newer and clearer understanding. I said, let me not read it for someone else. Let me read it for me. That taught me a lot. So every page I treated as if it was my first time reading. I started with a new page. Every book I read, I purchased with the intent of saying, no, this is for me. What can I get out of it? Not just to read, just to be reading, not to read because that's what other people do, but to do it with an intention, with purpose. I remember we started creating what we call focus statements for our year. This would be probably number 12, the 12th year that we've done a focus statement for our life. Each year we start with a statement that we focus on all year to change something in our life. We start each year basically with a blank page as it pertains to a particular topic. I encourage you, if you want to be unlike anyone else, to start with a blank sheet of paper. Go into it as if you know nothing at all. I like that phrase, go into it as if you know nothing. Then you'll start over. You'll look at it differently. Don't go into it as this is how my mom did it or my dad did it or this is how grandmother did it. This is how our old church did it. This is how the team did it before. This is how our company used to do it. Get out of that thinking and start with a new thought. Go into it as if you know absolutely nothing. See, the thing is, times, people, they change. And so what used to work doesn't always work anymore. So you need to go into it with some new type of thinking. You need to look at your life as if it were a blank canvas. And you're getting ready to create something totally new. I like this. In scripture it says that if a person connects with Christ, that's Jesus Christ, he does something different than some ordinary person. He becomes not the old person. He becomes a new creation. That means he started with a new canvas. He began with a new sheet of paper. His life has totally been changed into something other than what it used to be. He's no longer that ordinary common person that everyone used to know. He's become something totally different. I like to think of it like this, and you can understand it better this way. A caterpillar will crawl into a cocoon. He went in one way, but he comes out as a butterfly. That's what it means to have a blank sheet of paper. It's the cocoon process. 
I used to be like this, but I'm going to clear the page, get into a cocoon, and when I come out, I'm coming out something new. That's what it means to go from being common to something other than common, from ordinary to extraordinary. I like to say extraordinary because all you need is a little extra on you to become something more than ordinary. This type of thinking leads you to asking the questions you need to know and finding the answers that only you need to find. This is what's good about starting with a blank piece of paper because now you're writing things that have meaning to you and instead of reading something someone else wrote and trying to figure out what they meant by you start with something new. And so I leave you with this. And it's just simply going back to the beginning of how I started this lesson. Clear the page. It's so simple. Get you a new journal, a new binder, a new notebook. And just start something new today. Don't try to do too much at one time. Just go into it with a blank sheet of paper. What can I make of myself today? How can I start something new today? What can I change about my family? What in my relationship could use me starting over? What about my job and my life can I do to make it better by clearing the blank page? Remember, we're in life growth area number three, our spirituality. How can I make the way I do church and religion? How can I make it better? How can I start that with a new sheet of paper? How can I start my journey of spirituality totally different than anyone else so that it answers the questions that I need and it gives me a place that only I can go and it gives me a path that only I can follow? Start with a blank page. Hey, hey, we're back. We're back. Yes. Hey, what'd y'all think about that? What were your thoughts about starting with a blank page? Um, were there some nuggets and takeaways for you that you're able to use in your everyday life? We sure hope so, right? We, we absolutely hope so. Let me say this to you. Any of the things that Carrie and I share, y'all, they're not just things that we make up. They're, they're tried and true, right? Yeah. So I want to remind you, these are things that we've done, that we've gone mm. through in life. Trust me, they are tried and true, right? We have... We have succeeded in some things, we've failed in some things, which is what has probably brought us to the point of where we can talk about starting with a with a blank page. So we sure hope that you were able to get some things out of that. Carrie, you have any closing comments that you want to share? Yeah, as, as you were speaking, it reminded me of a motto that we live by. If, if not us, then who? Then who? Um, you'll find that in some of our writings often from time to time. It says we have to take the ownership of helping others. It's our job to not just go through life and learn the things ourselves, but yeah. it's, it's things like this help. Things, this, this is the reason why we do what we do. It's so that we can take what we've learned, share it with someone else, and, and keep that going. So that was a good point she's made. We've been through life, some issues, some challenges, some experience, some wins, yeah. some trials, some successes, some, you know, the ups and downs that life throw at you, but we're overcomers. That's yeah. what the scripture says. God, Jesus has overcome this world, these trials that you have. And so we want to share how we've done that as well, yeah. being followers of Christ, using our faith in, in, that, in that life. So, good well, point. There you have it. So, certainly we want to just leave you with a couple of things. As always, I want to remind you of our, our website, right? Yeah. CarrieAClark.com. You can find more information about us there. Also, check out our social media pages, right? We, we, we post things that we hope will help you on a regular basis throughout the day. So please take a look at, at your social media. We're, we're on all of the social media, media platforms, so you can certainly find more information there, CarrieAClark.com. Yes. And then we want to leave you with something as well. We wrote a book. Yes. This is important because all the messages we've been doing in these podcasts are based off of the outline that this was written upon. We call it when ordinary is no longer enough. So this is what we call the expanded version of that content. And when it's available for you, you'll see the uh, URL below us. And, uh, Amazon, sure you Target. Yeah, yeah. Wal even Walmart. Go figure. All those right? places, guys. So <laughs> by all means, go there, check it out. We'd love for you to have a little bit more information there too. Yep. 
um, that you can highlight and, and share with your friends. So let us know if you've got questions. Um, we'd love to hear from you. As always, share, share, share. We ask that you share, and we look forward to seeing you the next time. Right, Karen? Yes. Uh, All right, I want yes. to say a little bit more. <laughs> no. I can do that anytime. Listen, guys, our goal is to help you go from here to here, which means we're going to take you from where you are to the next level. That's our goal for you each and every week. Be blessed. Let's reach out. All right, there we go. It's recording. All right, here we go. All right, uh, S3, E5, intro, in five, four, three, two, and I think I started off when we did this, right? <laughs> I can't remember. All right, we're rolling. This is the outro. S3, E5, outro, in five, four, three, two, and not just go through life and learn the things ourselves, but yeah. it's, it's things like this help. Things, this, this is the reason why we do what we do. And so that we can take what we've learned. And then we want to leave you with something as well. We wrote a book. Yes. Before you, you'll see the uh, URL below us. And uh, and we look forward to seeing you the next time. Right, Karen? Yes. Uh, All right, want yes. want to say a little bit more. <laughs> no. I can do that anytime. <laughs> Listen, guys, our goal is to help you go from here to here, which means we're going to take you from where you are to the next level. That's our goal for you each and every week. Be blessed. Bye-bye.